Hey folks, welcome back to the Facilicast. Cast. This is Jim Zerbell from the FM Pipeline team, the Liberal Science Building. So today we have Richard Bussard. Richard is the co-state champion for the Facilathon in South Carolina, doing its first run this year. Congratulations and, and welcome in, Richard. Thank you. Glad to be here. So Richard, while we're, we're hanging out here, why don't, you, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your unique experience? Well, I'm a Navy retiree, and I, um, the majority of my work was in the submarine fleet and then in the surface fleet in engineering departments. So I operated the equipment. I did quality control inspections. I did some nuclear work. I uh, wrote repair packages, saw them th through from start to completion. My last ship was an amphibious assault ship, and we were when we were operating off of Mogadishu, Somalia. I got lucky to get sent to instructor school in Norfolk, and then to shore duty at a Navy Reserve Center in Colorado Springs. While I was there, I got a two-year degree in air conditioning and refrigeration, thinking at the time that I had two more years at sea before retiring at my usual twenty. But then I found out about the facility management program at the at uh, Colorado State University in Pueblo, where Mike Hoots was the program chairman. And I went through there and got my bachelor of science degree, graduated with a very high GPA, although for me it was easy. <laughs> and uh, then uh, took early retirement from the Navy so I could stay in college and finish that degree. And then I worked at uh, a number of different positions in facilities management. I was uh, with house services at the Rocky Mountain Regional Office of USAA Insurance there in Colorado Springs. That morphed into a position where they moved me up to Michigan to take over as an area facilities manager for um, some Ameritech buildings for the house services program. And uh, that was sort of a dance. We had a lot of contractors coming and going, so you have to keep after them. It's a good experience, though. It's really had interesting. Another, and uh, had another a number of other positions up there, uh, project management for workspace uh, construction and then relocation of Motorola employees into a new site in, in, uh, in Troy, Michigan. And then finally started studying up about energy efficiency because I could see where the emphasis was coming that way, you know, for going from T12s to T8 lighting and now it's LED. And uh, ended up being part of the people on a job task analysis for a commercial building energy auditor done by the uh, National Laboratory in Boulder, Colorado. NREL? Yeah, NREL. Wow. And, and that was, energy. We didn't, we didn't get to go out to the site, but we, you know, we had a, a group of about 12 of us and um, put that together. And that led to me getting an offer to leave Michigan and go to Florida to, to work at the Air Force Civil Engineering Center where I was their facility and renewable energy systems program specialist. Fantastic. I did that. <laughs> a lot of labels, but the, this time the uh, pay scale matched the, the, the title, so it was good. Good for you. And I want to point out a couple of very interesting things that you just brought up. First off, if you didn't already know, um, the Facilathon runs and has been running in Colorado for a long time. And uh, along with that, it just so happens it's running exactly at that location in Pueblo. The second thing, folks, if, if you're not already uh, privy to what NREL is, um, that is the National Renewable Energy Laboratories. Um, it would much, much be like Sandia or any of the other national laboratories, but NREL does amazing work in energy efficiency. Um, and we're, when we're talking about uh, the liberal science of buildings. Um, a great deal of that liberal science now revolves around the efficiency of a building and making sure that, that building is management. Ergo, 
facility management, ergo the facility fund. Richard, really pleased to have you on our on our our show today, and I wanted to ask you. Um, so you were at this point, um, you were working with Trent McDuncan um, out in South right. Carolina, and you are one of our our uh, facilithon champions, a state champion. Why don't you talk about what you think about that so far? Well, it's it was new to me. I got a notice, uh, an email from uh, Carolyn McGarry about asking about my interest in it. And it's a chance to help grow the industry and expose, you know, students to this because I'm 70 and most of the facilities guys I know have already retired. The guys that used to speak at World Workplace and do presentations have all retired. Uh, and we've got a shortage of people in the industry that really needs to be filled. And if and I'm thinking, this is a fantastic career for somebody coming out of high school, or if they come out of an engineering discipline, say in the military of some branch like I did, they've got a lot of experience that they can put to good use. And in facility management, it's not the same old thing every day. Every day is different. You've always got a challenge coming on. You've got issues with what's going on in the workplace or the contractors doing their work. Do you have special events like we did at the USAA facility in Colorado Springs where we hosted little things like the Air Force Academy graduating ba uh, banquet and things like that. So, so it's been, you know, a fun, a fun run. And, and I think that the facility will also be much the same. Yeah, thank you for that, and and uh, we wish you and and Trent and your team the best of success. By the way, we've seen a whole lot of people that have volunteered, that have signed up, have come across onto the website, and folks, uh, for for your purposes, if you are in the North Carolina or South Carolina or adjacent to states, um, you could easily sign up for the South Carolina Facilithon. What dates are those? Is the Facilithon March twenty seventh and twenty eighth. March and 27th and 28th. Greenville, Greenville, South Carolina at the Greenville Convention Center. Makes sense. The Greenville Convention Center. And folks, typically Skills USA uh, state conventions, that's what it is, this is, um, where the students compete in the facilithon. And then the student that wins that competition actually gets to move on to nationals. Um, that particular, they, they typically will buy out convention centers because those conventions and those these competitions are are so big um, that they need as much space. And those competitions include a whole lot of things other than just the facilithon, but the facilithon is en route to being a new national contest. So the spotlights are all put on that. Um, and you said that's, what, what two days are those again? March 27th and 28th. At the Greenville Convention Center, in Greenville, South Carolina. You can sign up for that at www.fmpipeline.org forward slash volunteers. We put it up on the screen here, fmpipeline.org slash volunteers. Um, and you can come in and do that. We're really thrilled that uh, you're gonna have as many volunteers as you are. And if you volunteer for the Facilithon, you get to do a, one of a number of things. You'll be at one of our tables explaining facility management and what the competition is about. Some of you will be doing judging. Um, some of you might be doing other courtesy-oriented kind of things. Pretty fun to do that. So uh, with that in, in, in mind, um, are, are there other things that, um, that our, our volunteers might be able to do for, for the team? Um, outside of this particular event? I think that uh, they're talking about looking to people that have experience with content creation, possibly some audiovisual assistance, ability to do some short marketing type clips and things like that that are dedicated towards maybe different segments of the population or different, you know, you have in some schools, places you're going to have students there are competitors that are coming out of high school and some of them you're going to have competitors coming out of trade schools or post-secondary education so it's different levels and being able to reach those people you know at, at with their interest level it's a good thing to do yeah that sounds really great richard thank you so much for coming on with us today uh the skills usa facilithon south carolina 
is happening, you said March 27th and 28th. In Greenville, South Carolina at the Greenville Convention Center. Uh, be sure to go to www.fmpipeline.org forward slash volunteers to sign up. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you there. It's really fun. By the way, if we if we didn't mention this in our conversation here, uh, the students in Skills USA, that is a highly concentrated group of technically savvy, super bright students that all lean the direction of facility management already. Uh, maybe we'll have a chance to talk about that after your contest, Richard. Looking forward to that and best of success to you and your team in South Carolina. For that, um, thank you so much for coming on to the Facilicast and may you all have a splendid afternoon. We hope to talk to you next. Glad to be here. Y'all come on down, see us. Thank you, Richard.